we're in a very different position than we were two years ago. We've got lots of capabilities and tools are at our, our disposal to manage through this, primarily vaccines and boosters, of course. And we have to continue to encourage everybody within our communities to, to seek vaccination, to seek boosters, because we know this is safe, we know this is effective, and it's clearly the best way of pre preventing serious illness, hospitalization, ICU admissions, and decompressing our hospitals. The hospital overall is very busy. The majority of patients that are hospitalized with serious illness related to COVID, unfortunately, are unvaccinated. So coming back to safety and the, the tools we have at hand, vaccination and boosters are key. And of course, the basic measures of masking, avoiding crowds where feasible, social distancing, washing hands, the basic things that we've, we've learned from the start are, are very, very important to emphasize again. Having staff to look after the patients given staff absences has been, has been a major factor here. With that said, again, you know, the flexibility and dedication and resilience of the staff in, in, in just being flexible has allowed us to continue to, to provide the care to the patients that need our care. The care has not been um, has not been compromised in any way, shape, or form, inpatient or outpatient. Um, and so we're able to care for the patients that need us despite being extremely busy in the hospital and in the outpatient setting. As we all do our best to enhance safety in our community and for patients and for employees and for our families and everybody, continuing to promote vaccination, continuing to promote booster administration, and continuing with the simple measures is very, very important. And that's what will help see us through this pandemic out the other side